All right, so this is the 13700KF. I got this processor off Amazon for well, around $417. And that is the cheapest I was able to find it. Now, Intel suggested retail price for this is between 384 and 394. There are some places selling it for almost $500. And I think that's insane. And that is one of the reasons why I went with an i7 and not an i9. Because if I would have gone with an i9, I would have had to pay like over $100, uh, you know, above MSRP. I mean, everything is starting to get expensive. And I'm really hoping that by the time that this video goes live, that, uh, that the price has dropped more. Because a lot of people are not building PCs because it's just, it's just getting expensive, you know. Let's see the processor better. All right, now I'm gonna install this on my Set 690 classified motherboard. But before we install it on that motherboard, oh. On this one we need to um, what's it called we need to install the BIOS update for it to be able to support 13th gen or else we're gonna have uh, some issues so I'm gonna cut to downloading the drivers for that and then we'll be right back for motherboard 690 classified BIOS, I'm going to go with Windows 10 64 bit, and here it is. The it was released. Download. Run anyways. Press any key to continue. Press Y to program the BIOS. So we're gonna press Y. Flash service found. Then it's gonna do everything else for you. Yes, we'll finish the update, press any key to restart. Then it's going to automatically start your PC. All right, now uh, let me install the CPU. And let me see where that arrow is. The arrow is right here, and it is right here. Actually, where is it? I have gone blind again. Oh, here it is. You can see a little arrow, so that's where you're going to be pointing it. There you go. Now we're going to boot this up and see how well it does. All right, so as you can see, the CPU has changed because we went from an i3-100F to an i7-13700KF. Uh, wait, wait, actually, let me see. Oh yeah, here it is. I think I'm blind. Yeah, 24 degrees Celsius. Remember hearing that the 13th gen was a bit cooler than the 12th gen. Oh, 
All right. So uh, after I I have to go after I booted up, I realized that since I changed the CPU, the frequency of the RAM was a bit different. So uh, we're gonna change that to profile one. Actually, let me see profile two. Nah, yeah, let's go to profile one. So save changes and exit. All right, now. And boom, here you go. 2600. Use CPU. Look at all this. Look at all this. So, look at 4, 8, 12. What comes up to 12 again? Anyway, there's 24 cores in here. I mean, 24 threads. Here's the actual number of cores 16. Doing some center benching, uh, look at this, it's on the top of this. Uh, considering that some of these CPUs are laptop CPUs, I don't think that's a big achievement. But this is what I'm going to be the end ending the video off with. Um, if you remember, my i3 was actually more towards the bottom of the list because, you know, it's an i3 processor. But this one is on top, uh, on the top at least. At least it's beating the Threadripper. And that's the final score. Now let's try the single core performance and let's see uh, what we get. And that's the score for single core performance. Keep in mind that every time you run this test is going to be slightly different even if you use the exact same CPU. It's generally going to be around the same area though.